All right, keep looking here. Geek Room just cheered. It says, there's a new Fallout game. Where do you think a cool location would be? Um, They've done Boston. They've done Vegas. And they've done... uh, Where the hell... Oh, the Washington, right? Washington area. They should do another big major city. From France or fucking, you know... Engl uh, uh, London. Something cool. Something that has, like, iconic landmarks that you can visit. But at the same time would have, like, multifaceted stuff. Like, you know, London has its whole underground thing with the subways and shit, but also it has above-ground landmarks. Something like that could be really cool. I don't know. New York, I don't think, would be very good. Only New York City would be all skyscrapers. The entire game would be the same shit. You know what I mean? Oh, fuck. Look at this asshole. Look at this fucking asshole. What are you doing? Are you retarded? Dude, we're walking through each other. Oh, this ain't good. Oh, where, where are you running? Oh shit, what the hell? Dude, his body fused into the bed. What the fuck? Dude, his body's gone. He fused into the bed. What the hell? What the... Oh wait, no, here he is. I teleported through a wall. His body fused with the bathtub. Oh my god, that's disgusting, dude. His body fused with the fucking bathtub. That's gross. Come on. That's nasty. That is nasty. <laughs> this game is so fucking bad. That is fucking nasty. Oh my god. Popsicola says, why is that bathtub so long? Because the horse's trough, of course. Why? Because Blue Hole made this game. That's the only That's the only answer you have to get. Why are the frame rates so bad in Player Knows Battlegrounds? Because Blue Hole made it. Why is the hit detection so bad? Because Blue Hole made it. Why do the weapons not actually have any realism to them when you shoot someone? Because Blue Hole made it. Why is the bathtub so long? Because Blue Hole made it. Because <laughs> an inept idiot made the fucking game. That's why. An inept idiot named Player Unknown, who's known for nothing whatsoever, made a piece of shit game that somehow went viral on Twitch, and he's now a millionaire. That's why. Because it's not an actual good game. That's why. <laughs> Oh my god. The guy's body was so gross. He burst through the door swinging the crowbar and I just put up a gun right up to his head and pulled the trigger. His brains were squirting out the back. That was disgusting. That was fucking disgusting. All right, grab that helmet. Very nice. Very exciting. Extended mag. Already had it. A four times scope for a UMP. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's never going to get used. Sense fan just shoots a battle of the bad blue hole versus sledgehammer. Yeah, pretty much. Sledgehammer also fucking sucks. I'm sorry. They really are. Uh, uh, sledgehammer is bad, dude. They're the worst Call of Duty developer by far. Raven just asked if my parents... When I was a teenager, my parents gave me the talk. Mine found out about my Tinder escapades. Oops. Wow. 
Uh, no. My parents never gave me any kind of a talk. I'm not even kidding. Never. They never sat me down and said shit about shit. Uh, basically what they tried to do is shelter me. They wouldn't let me go out with my friends and do shit for a long ass time until finally I basically told them, uh, you know, I'm a young adult and if you don't let me go have social things, I'm just going to do it against your will. So either you can let me do it and I'll tell you about everything and I'll be upfront with you about what I'm doing and where I am. Or I could just go do it and not tell you anything and just go and leave and whatever. And we kind of had a compromise, but kind of not. Like for a whole summer, basically, I did whatever I wanted. And after that, I, we came to a compromise. They started respecting me a little bit more um, <clears throat> and started to try to control me. But outside of that, like, I never really had those kind of serious talks or nothing with my parents. Nope. I had to figure everything out for myself. Wasn't that fun. Anyway, Romy Rowe just cheered. He said, hey, Phil, you can put the UMP on auto if that helps. Um, and uh, BK has a new spicy chicken sandwich, which is actually pretty tasty. Uh, Burger King. Hmm. New spicy chicken. I'm going to have to look into this. And if it is indeed a new spicy chicken sandwich, perhaps I will get it within the next week or so. We'll see. We shall see. All right. I have a ton of ammo here for a shitty gun. And someone already looted this. Yup. Fuck. Well, if they did, they left an AK, which is kind of bizarre. Don't know why they did that. AK is better. <clears throat> Break those legs. Tons of damage. I love it. <laughs> Deal tons of damage. I love it. Fall off a rooftop. Lose a ridiculous amount of health, right? Get shot point blank by a fucking minigun. Mini, mini 14 or whatever it is. Four times high powered rifle. You're perfectly fine. You survive. But fall off a rooftop. Take monstrous damage. Uh. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. All this shit's looted. I'm going to the next area. <clears throat> uh. I guess people in the stream chat are saying Stephen Hawking has passed away. There's new confirmation on the internet that he's dead. Well, that's a shame. If it's true. Guy is certainly a survivor. He survived way longer than anyone told him he would. And, uh, you know, one of the greatest minds of our time. But we all gotta go. Right? We all gotta go. All this is looted. Johnny Soros asked me, how do I want to go out? I don't know, man. That's a, such a grim question. I don't want to go out at all, you know? I want to choose. Here, okay. I want to go out on my own terms. 
I want to go out at a point in my life where, like, I feel like I've lived enough and done enough and had a fulfilling enough life and done enough good, but also, had, you know, had enough experiences, done enough to, to put my footprint on the planet that when I go out, I feel like that's it. It's good enough. I'm tired now and I just want to go, you know. I would hate to, to be in a situation where I felt like there's unfinished business or something, you know what I mean? Something wasn't left the way it should have been for me or my affairs or, you know what I mean? Um... But rarely do, does anyone get that kind of control over anything, you know? Um, you're really lucky if you do, so...